Hallelujah The Hills formed in late 2005, signed to Mizra Records in 2006, and released their debut in 2007, entitled Collective Psychosis Begun. They have toured with the Silver Jews, co-written a song with Triumph the Insult Comic Dog, collaborated with author Jonathan Latham, have been the house band for the Upright Citizens Brigade, and have had a live performance interrupted by Chevy Chase. In 2009, the band released their second album, Colonial Drones, also on Mizra Records. Upon the release of that album, they toured the United States in which they had the bad fortune of driving too close to Sierra Blanca, Texas, were ensnared by Border Patrol patrol agents and were momentarily incarcerated for approximately three marijuana cigarettes. Later, the band helped orchestrate and tour the Titus Andronicus album, The Monitor. Now without a label, the band crowdsourced the making of their third album, No One Knows What Happens Next, which has developed a strong following despite being trashed by Spin Magazine upon release. In the midst of a Halloween show in Boston, the band's drummer quit on stage during their set. A new drummer was found. Meanwhile, a song from Colonial Drones appeared in an ABC family show called Make It or Break It, in which the tune Classic Tapes was played in a small town pizza shop jukebox which I think we can all agree is an unlikely scenario. The band debuted a new video on MTV Hive and then recreated a scene from Twin Peaks shot for shot in yet another video and then were menaced on a rooftop by seagulls for a project for an NPR station.